This is Wilkie 9000, and I'm here to talk about what has become probably my favorite anime ever, or at least one of them. Uh, if there's one thing that you gotta know about my taste in anime, or humor in fact, it's that I'm out of, I'm completely out of my goddamn mind, so of course I love the completely random off-the-wall comedy that you can only get in anime. Basically, for me, when it comes to humor anime, it either has to be the cute stuff, the kind of cute things like Azumanga Daio and Lucky Star and K-On, or, you know, the action-packed stuff like Gurren Lagann or Dragon Ball Z, or more often than not, fucked up, psychotic, random, screw girl comedy like Excel Saga, Puni Puni Puemi, Fully Cooly, and Panty and Stocking with Garter Belt. Oh my freaking god, this show rules. It is completely, completely crazy. I mean, seriously, like, before... I mean, I knew I was gonna like this show before I even saw it. I mean, I even bought the... I even got these little figurines, like, at, uh, Ot when I was at Otakon. Yeah, Panty and Stocking. And Chuck. Yeah. There's Grimlock. Yeah, no one cares. Anywho. Um, well, anyway, the show's about um, two angels. Well, if you can call them that. Named Panty and Stocking. And uh, they are... How can I put this slightly? Complete, amoral, psychotic... Chaotic good bitches. Notice I said chaotic good, not chaotic neutral, not chaotic evil. Because they, and what they do is they fight ghosts. Well, not like Ghostbusters, but ghosts as in like demons. I don't know why they decided to say, why did they decide to call them ghosts? Well, and these things are pretty damn demonic. Um, so anyway. Pa each of them uses different kinds of weapons. Um, that are essentially ar articles of their own clothing. Um, panty can turn her panties into guns, and stocking can turn her stockings into swords. I think that's kind of self-explanatory. And later in the series, we get their demonic counterparts, Scanty and Knee Socks. And they basically use similar... They use they basically use uh, the same superpowers, only they're demonic. And what's funny is, Panty and Stocking, they're supposed to be angels. They're total bitches, and they... Well, let me put it this way. Stocking's a glutton, Panty's a slut. Like, epic slut. And it's fucking hilarious. It is, it is great. Um, Scanty and Knee Socks, on the other hand... They're demons. They're evil. And yet, they're the ones that are following the rules. Like, these guys chaotic good. These guys lawful evil. What the? Not something you expect very often. Anyway, um, I'm not going to be giving any spoilers. You guys got to see this shit for yourself. The show is fucking crazy. And it is just... Whew. Damn. I just sat through the entire show. And... I bet I can hold the... I bet I'm, like, the only one who can hold the title of... I can actually watch this show while eating and still enjoy both the anime and the meal. Yes, this show is raunchy and disgusting. In fact, the first villain of the show, the first ghost they fight... Oh, God. Well, let's just say I was having Conquer flashbacks. I am the Great Mighty Pool. Yes, they fought a giant mountain of shit. It didn't sing opera, though. That was kind of disappointing. Anywho, um, the show is off the wall fucking crazy. Um, the protagonists are complete and total bitches. And the story is nonsec nonsensical and disgusting at times. And I fucking love it. It is great. The action scenes are badass. The comedy is friggin' hilarious. I mean, really, it is a great show. And you know what? 
the only downside is, for a show called Panty and Stocking, that's all pretty much you see. Yeah, they hint at it and shit, but they don't, they don't really, uh, yeah, whatever. Um, anyway, the show is awesome, and I recommend it, uh, to anyone who, uh, who likes off-the-wall, crazy fucking comedy. Um, my personal favorite episode, I thought I'd say this one, and everybody who's seen my first video is gonna know which, everyone who's seen both Panty and Stocking and the fir- my first video is gonna know right away what it's gonna be. Any guesses? The fucking Transformers episode. <laughs> the whole episode. It's like, it is full on Transformers. It, it's, it's, it like makes references to everything. The, the, the robots themselves look like, resemble that of G1. The, they have, they even straight up use some of their names, like, like Coctimus, like, like Optimus Prime is Coctimus Prime. Um, and Megatron's Mintatron. They use like the Bayformers design for Megatron briefly. Then, uh, then like through some incident, I'm not going to spoil how, uh, Panty and Stocking end up, uh, becoming Optimus Prime and Megatron. Well, Rodimus Prime and Megatron to a degree. It's like actually a hybridization of the two. And, uh, they look just like the G1, the G, the G1 counterparts of, of Optimus Prime and Megatron. I was like, fuck. Right down to the arm cannon. And, like, you, you see, like, if you're a huge Transformers fan and you're watching this episode, you're gonna end up going, eee! This is, it's that guy! Oh my god! It's Unicron! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! Soundwave! Ah! Starscream! Ah! Um, yeah, and it's just like, like, the whole episode, I was like going, Oh my god, there's Starscream! Oh my god, there's Megatron! <gasps> Stocking is using Megatron swords from Transformers Animated! Eee! Yeah, that was kind of girly, but I don't care. It's a freaking hilarious show. The ending is weird. I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm not even going to tell you what it is. You're going to have to watch it yourself. But the ending is fucking weird. And they have this weird transformation sequence. It's a great show. If you can find it, Crunchyroll, Funimation's website, DVD, Netflix, freaking watch it. It is... You will not be disappointed, my friend. It is truly, truly, truly outrageous. See what I did there? <laughs> anyway, um, this is Wilco9000 signing off. Repent, motherfucker!